It's news time. Information is power. The current. The news headline. Nigeria. Could amnesty for Inam Dekanu and Biafra agitations in the southeast. Despite facing terrorism charges, Inam Dekanu, who lead Nigerians' most powerful secessionist group, is now being considered for amnesty by President Muhammad Buhari. But can this end the agitations? In 2012, a little-known activist in Adekanu gathered alongside other protesters in front of the Nigerian High Commission in London to demonstrate against the killing of innocent civilians by terrorist organizations, Boko Haram. Kanu said he was determined to ensure that Nigeria did not disintegrate and that it must be protected from evil forces. In a viral video, he said, We are protesting over the killings of family by people who are determined to tear the country apart. And it is not something we support. It is something we would, li we would like uh, to see continue. And therefore, Mazin Amdekanu had actually been a serious threat to the Buhari-led administration by asking you know, for a breakaway of the Biafra nation from Nigeria, that is the Igbo, having their own uh, country, you know, so as to uh, ensure that the feeling of being marginalized, you know, stops amidst the Igbo uh, people. And that is why uh, the Biafran agitator had actually stayed, you know, uh, a truth to the fact that they want a nation of their own. Kanu had actually been at the DSS of uh, a facility, you know, for quite a while now, after being extradited from Kenya, awaiting trial. However, the Southeast leaders had actually been trying to see a way to ensure that a political solution is sought so as to secure his release. If he is allowed to go unpunished, it would be sending the wrong message. Nobody in the history of this country has done more damage to the country since the civil war than this young man. If at the end of the day they allow him to go unpunished after what he has done, the implication is that nobody will ever commit any offense of this nature and will be punished because everybody will always refer to him. And this means that the constitution is automatically suspended in the country. This means that some people can just commit crime at the expense of 200 million Nigerians and get away with it. Somebody can kill, pronounce killing and still get away with it. Then, what is the essence of condemning people to death for killing murder when compared to what this man can did? This is just a way of undermining the laws of the land and indirectly they are saying that the government of the day can be easily influenced. This means somebody can commit any offense and then come to Buari or any other government after this and seek forgiveness. The AYCF national president noted that Kanu is not remorseful of his actions, hence he may boast of being begged. He added that this man is not even remorseful indirectly and it is like the government is begging him to continue with what he is doing and he would go unpunished. The consequence is that if he allowed to go unpunished, we would end up having millions of can uh, rising even if he decides not to go ahead with further actions. If he is allowed to go, he can, would come out boasting that he did not beg to be released. He is not remorseful and there is nothing to show that he regrets his actions. And nobody can do such and get away with it. We are not in banana republic for crying out loud. He maintained that the law should allow to take its full course in Kanu's matter. The law must take its full course and I hope that it is not what I'm thinking because nobody has done this kind of damage this man has done to the country. We have not recovered from the consequences of what he has done to this country and yet we are still watching. If you allow him to go unpunished, the country should produce uh, millions of him. With him alone, see the damage that he has done. But for us in the south, uh, in the north, we would ensure he has no sympathizer. Nobody is saying that he should be dealt with without committing any crime. But if he is found wanting, then he should be made to face the consequences of the actions since the matter is in court, he added. 
and these were the words of the Arewa Youth President, known as Sheichima, who happens to uh, speak on behalf of the leadership of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, warning the Federal Republic of Nigeria, led by President Muhammad Buhari, to be very careful about the release of Mazi Nandekanu. And this was because the stakeholders of the Southeast had paid a visit to the President to actually discuss uh, how to release Mazi Nandekanu. And that was because of the, uh, you know, the reactions uh, of the IPOB in the Southeast, you know, that has been uh, seriously pathetic for quite a while now. You know, different kind of killings here and there. Uh, and um, there has been pleadings from the IPOB stakeholders, uh, from the Southeast stakeholders to the IPOB, that, the, uh, that they, they need to put a stop to their sit-at-home directive uh, every now and then and uh, that they are going to be looking for uh, a way to secure a political solution to what is actually going on uh, in the Southeast, especially in terms of Mazen Amdekanu, who was actually, uh, you know, extradited from Kenya and, uh, you know, still at the DSS facility uh, awaiting trial. And as a result of keeping to their promise of looking for a political, situ uh, a political situ uh, solution, to this uh, rising matter, the Igbo leaders had actually gone to uh, meet President Muhammadu Buhari, you know, led by, you know, the team was led by uh, the uh, minister, a former minister, and a parliamentarian, you know, the first parliamentarian actually, and uh, the governor of Anambra State, which they all included Chukwemeka Ezeife, Godi Wazuriki, Tagbo Amichi. And also a bishop, Bishop Sunday Unoha of the Methodist Church, and even the former president of Igbo Sociocultural Group, Aka Ikenga, and uh, like I said, Mbazulike Amechi, who happens to be a former minister of aviation and the leader of the delegation, had actually appealed to uh, President Muhammad Buhari to see uh, a political solution for the release of Mazin Amdekanu, saying that uh, he is very sure that Mazin Amdekanu would listen to him, you know, due to the fact that he's a well-known and respectable person in the Southeast. However, Shitima is still of the opinion that if uh, Inamdekanu is released without being punished, especially if found one thing, that this will give rise to many other uh, Kanus, you know, wanting to do the same thing, so far they have the mindset that they would be released uh, in, in full time without any punishment. And uh, seeing that he, it seems that Kanu is not even like there's no evidence to show that he's remorseful, and if he should be released, then it would, it, there is all possibility that he would come out and say and never beg anyone to be released. And seeing that uh, President Muhammad Buhari needs to stay clear uh, of this matter, like he has been doing, and allow the law to take its full course. Thanks for listening.